बाप नत्वा भगवती उदाय लोकानंद धर्म से कवि बक्षी सनातन धर्म नारायण घास ट्रांसलेशन वैसे प्रभुवाद सुनादुमनि से एट फर्स्ट ऑफरिंग माय ओबेसेंसेस ऑन टू श्री लॉर्ड कृष्ण द प्रोटेक्टर ऑफ रिलीजियस प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ऑल लिविंग एंटिटीज लेट मी एक्सप्लेन द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ द इटरनल रिलीजियस सिस्टम ऑफ व्हिच आई हैव हार्ड फ्रॉम द माउथ ऑफ नारायण द वर्ड ओजो रेफर्स टू कृष्ण who explains in bhagavad gita 46 ajopi san abhyatma i am ever existing and thus i never take bath there is no change in my existence atman seno dakhan nam to dharma ta lokanam sutya dhyasti tapo padarika swami translation by sri lakshmi Lord Narayan, along with his personal manifestation, Nara, appeared in this world through the daughter of Dutta Maharaj, known as Murti. He was begotten by Dharma Maharaj for the benefit of all living entities. Even now, he is still engaged in executing great austerities near the place known as Bodhika Sama. Bhagavan Sarva Beda Mayo Hari. स्मृतम तत्विदंगाधनजीनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधनाधन
To become a devotee, one must follow the principles laid down, the smuti and smuti and smuti. One must follow the course of the Puranas and Pancharatrik Vidhi. One cannot be a pure devotee without following the Sruti and Smuti. And Sruti and Smuti, without devotional service, cannot lead one to the perfection of life. Therefore, from all the evidence, the conclusion is that without bhakti, devotional service, there is no question of religious principles. God is the central figure in the performance of religious principles. Almost everything going on in this world of religion is devoid in the idea of devotional service and is therefore condemned by the verdict of Srimad Bhagavatam. Without devotional service, so-called religious principles are only sitting. Yes, Lord. The discussion is on dharma, religious principles. Dharma mulahi bhagavan sarva vedamaya hari srutam tatar vidang rajan jena chatma prasidati. The supreme being, this supreme personality of Godhead is the essence of all Vedic knowledge, the root of all religious principles. Mm. Narada Muni says. Mm. On the basis of this religious principle, everything is satisfied, including one's mind, soul, even one's body. Mm. You understand? So what is the real essence of dharma, the dharma tattva, one should understand it. Mm. And dharma is one, not more than one, it's one. Mm. Therefore, in Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavan Krishna, who is the essence of all Veda, and who is the root of all dharma, root of dharma. Yeah. He has said this thing. Sarvadama, root of dharma. Yeah. He has said this thing. Sarvadama, priti jyamami kum saranam dada. Give up all other religions and only surrender unto me. What does it mean? All other religions. The Krishna is the source of. Hmm. He, he very easily will be a realized soul. That's Bhagavatam. So, Azarjas, hmm. the Pramanika Acharya, Bona Fide Acharya, they speak about it. Hmm. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Maharaj, my revered spiritual master, Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada Maharaj, and prayer to the head, the head, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, all previous Acharyas, they have given hmm, this tattva, dharma tattva, they have spoken about it, and we should understand it, following Discipline succeeded. Mm. And out of 84 lakhs of species of life, this human form of life is relevant in Dullabhang. And the opportunity has been given in this life that we can understand this tattva. Ahar Nidra Bhoy Maithu. Eating, sleeping, defending, and mating. These four things are common with man and animal. Isn't it? What is the mm, uh, difference between human life and animal life? If human being is only engaged in four things, 
আহার নিদ্রা ভয় মাই কোন in human form of life man should understand this dharma tattva this opportunity is given so he will be considered as a human being if he knows this dharma tattva otherwise he is an animal only engaged in four things aham nidra bhay mai kono hmm and when He, if man understands this dharma tattva and practices its principles in his life and lead his life accordingly his uh, real life begins from that day life of human otherwise he's leading an animal life you understand so in shrimad bhagavatam we see sabai punsa par dharma tat bhakti radhakya de ahetu ke priti sad atma suprasiddh thi here my guru maharaj has quoted that thing the religious principle aim at learning how to render transcendental loving service to lord that service must be unmotivated and unchecked by material conditions then human society happy in all respects the atma suprasiddhi thereby the atma the soul will be pleased we are soul we are not body or mind first teaching given by bhagwan krishna in bhagavad gita that we are not body we are so then one must inquire what is dharma of the soul you understand the dharma of the soul if you follow that principle of soul principle of dharma of the soul you understand then atma prasidati the soul will be such fire You understand? Get pleasure. And what is that? Jato bhakti ro dukhya de. Rendering transcendental loving service to a bhukhya to bhagwa. That is atma dharma. That is dharma of the soul. You understand? Then the soul will be pleased. Get happiness. Otherwise, no happiness. so therefore we find here in this material world dukhari ha huh? all are unhappy here leading miserable life why they are not rendering this service unto adhukya da bhagwa that means they are not following this principle of dharma atma dharma this is the reason mm. and also we find here now this we feel as a pace many problems um, regarding this dharma because people don't know this dharma tattva and there are also many manufactured dharmas concocted dharmas formed by some persons therefore there is quarreling between one group and another group and group <coughs> this group of people suppose the group of people babri masjid and ram dharma ha huh? gopal babri masjid yes babri masjid this is all current now yes uh, this group is hindu group this group is muslim group this group is christian group like that You see, this group is Khalistani, ah, uh, Sikh group like that. So many quarrels are going on because they don't know the real thought of that. They have forgotten that we are Atma, we are soul, and soul has one dharma, that is Jato Bhakti Rodhokya Dei. 
render service and all of the other. Krishna, the supreme personality, God is. Then why is there even supporting? No quarreling at all. So we also find that nowadays our so-called leaders, political leaders, they don't know this purpose. And they see so many quarreling is going on, so many enmity is going on. So they frame a law, you see. What do you say in English? Dharma Secular state. Our state is secular state. Dharma Nirupitura. Secular state. That means we pay honor to all dharmas. Yeah, every dharma, all dharmas are equal. What does it mean? When dharma is one, where is the question of more than one dharma and what, what do you say? Why do you say that we pay respect to what? Every dharma? <coughs> what is one's dharma? Let him follow and we pay respect in our state. And this is constitution, in law, it is made in constitution, you see. So there are so many court cases also. On this point. <laughs> because they don't know the real dharma tattva. One story was there. It is there. It is a uh, someone some time ago it was published in this newspaper. Mm. There was a norm. You understand? And uh, she was always naked. <laughs> she never put on clothes. So anyhow, she was implicated with some illegal activity or something. She had to come to the court. <laughs> so her advocate said, all right, she would come to the court, but she would come naked. No. Mm. Protest, how is it? Me? A woman will come naked to the court? It's a very simple affair. No, 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 that cannot. No. Why? Then our advocate uh, said, you see, our state is secular state. We pay respect to everyone's dharma. So it is her dharma to remain naked. How can you <laughs> devour her? That means you will transgress this constitution, you see. Huh? Then you will be <laughs> punished thereby. <laughs> you see, it's very, very it's <laughs> wonderful thing <laughs> and also uh, one must uh, <laughs> cannot but laugh at it. What is this nonsense going on? At last uh, it is uh, concluded that all right, let her come naked, but there should be a <laughs> enclosure. Huh? This uh, cloth uh, enclosure, she would stand <laughs> in that enclosure naked and cut <laughs> like that. Nonsense. Then stand. And we also face problems when we go <coughs> out for preaching and Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami, Upad Maharaj, also faced that problem. Once he went to one of the schools in Midnapur, Midnapur district, and requested the principal, the master of the school, to arrange. Mm. Uh, uh, um, um, Sabha assembly, you see, get together. He will speak on this um, philosophy. Um. Then that master refused, no, 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 that cannot be arranged. Our state is secular state, we pay respect to the dharma, and you speak only Hindu dharma. There are Muslims, Christians, other dharma, so they will protest. 
No, no, we don't allow. I also felt the similar <laughs> problem. Mm. I was also refused. Mm. But this is Dhamma Sosti Goswami Maharaj, what is this nonsense? You don't know the real dharma, what is the real dharma tattva, and people are quarreling on this topic because of their ignorance on this dharma tattva. Therefore, nobody should inquire about real dharma. What is this nonsense? Huh? You have been cheated by seeing a mir- by seeing mirrors, thinking it water, and you run. After it, you get water and you are disappointed, no water. Then you conclude there is no water. Is it true? There is no water. And you have been cheated by seeing a glow warm. Looks like fire. But you get it and tossed and it didn't burn you. So you conclude, oh, there is no the capacity of burning. In the fire, there is no fire. Is it true? Similarly, you don't know the real essence of tattva of dharma, the real dharma, dharma tattva. Therefore, so many quarreling are going on. The name of dharma, therefore, there is no dharma. What is this nonsense? One should not inquire about the dharma tattva. He said like that. So Srimad Bhagavatam now speaks about what is real dharma. Jayatma Suprasidati. Where soul, Atma, and Atma's dharma, every vastu has his dharma. The mind has its dharma, and body has its dharma, and soul has its dharma. Huh? What is dharma of mind? <coughs> Sankalpa, vikalpa. Sankalpa, vikalpa. Accepting, rejecting. That is mind's dharma. And what is the dharma of the body? Sense gratification. Dharma of the body. Similarly, the dharma of the soul. Dato bhakti radhakya de. This is the dharma of the soul. Render service to Adhukya the Prabhava. We are soul. So that is our dharma. And dharma is one, not more than one. You understand? And this is eternal dharma. Nitya dharma, Sasu dharma, Sanantan dharma. And this is Vaishnav dharma. And this is Bhagavad dharma. And Bhagavan has framed this dharma, principle of this dharma. And this should be taught. <coughs> now it is. But here in Srimad Bhagavatam, all Acharyas, they speak about is, they teach, they travel throughout the world, they teach throughout the world about this thing. And one who is an intelligent person, serious person, he should inquire about it, he should understand it. So there will be no quarreling, no enmity on this topic of dharma. So, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Maharaj said that in this world many people have many requirements. Every individual has his own requirement. Many people have many requirements. And they think, let us first fulfill our requirements. Ah. Therefore, somebody engages in some fruitive activities to make the nice arrangement of ahar nidra bhoyamaitam. This is the requirement of this body. Ah. Somebody ah, does retires from this, leaves this uh, world and goes to some solitary place, enters into some the 
gave up a mountain and sits there and does pranayam or job like that. Hmm. Only it's air. So many. Yeah. So Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Maharaj said, in this world, different persons of different requirements, so they think that fulfill that requirement is mind dharma. This is like a soft, but there are different commodities are there. So this is goes on. This goes on nowadays in the name of Dharma. This is not real Dharma. Hmm. Therefore, Dharma Mulahi Bhagavan Sarvabhidamaya. Hari is the root of Dharma. One must understand. And what he speaks about it. What is his desire? One should inquire about it. And here, from the right source, then he can understand what is the real dharma, dharma tattva. Yeah? And if we speak, we we'll say that whatever one says, whatever one's requirement, and that is his dharma, that will not be correct. Hmm. It's managada dharma. The dharma coming out from one speculation is not real dharma. Hmm. So, <laughs> jiva has only one dharma, that is known as param dharma, jaiva dharma, atma dharma, vaisnava dharma, and bhagavata dharma. And that dharma is your frame. Rendering loving service towards Rato Bhakti, Rato Krishna. Hmm? This is real dharma. And that is speaking. So many things are there. Uh -huh. It's all discussed. Srimad Bhagavatam, another Vedic scriptures, Sruti Smuti Puran. Hmm. The Smuti Smuti Puran Adi, Pancharatri Vidhirvina, Vaikanti Harir Bhakti, Utpata Iva Karpati, Rupa Goswami therefore says this thing. Ah. One cannot be a pure devotee without following Sruti Smuti, and Sruti Smuti without devotional service cannot lead one to perfection of life. You understand? So in Sruti, in Sruti, all the scriptures, one thing has been said. It's said about this Param Dharma or Atma Dharma. Ah, how to render loving service and to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Thereby, Atma and soul will be pleased. So there will be no problem in the life. But people who don't know this thing, so there is problem. There is fear. Mm. And there is enmity in the name of God. So this will be done. Yes.